Hello, Taurus. Hello, Taurus. This is a nighttime energy reading. Who's up with me? Who's up with me? Taurus, I want to see who's in your energy. I wasn't going to do any readings, but I want to see what's, who's in your energy. Okay? Hello, my beautiful souls. I love you guys. New viewers, cross watchers, come on in. Take what resonates. I need you to reverse the roles, how they fit in your life. I don't know your life. You're going to have to reverse the roles, how they fit in your life, okay? Let's get started. Spirit, guys, God, I ask you to give me clarity and understanding. Most of all, I need your protection. Let's see what's in the energy. Okay, the moon card is here. Yeah, definitely someone's in your energy. This can be someone that has kept a secret from you. This is someone that's holding a secret. Okay, it could be a strong Scorpio that's holding secrets. Could be a water, you know, water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Um, it's holding a secret. There's there's a secret. Let's see what else is going on in your energy. Oh, you got the sun and you got the moon. Wow. You got the sun and the moon here. Taurus, this is telling me that somebody, somebody, this person, it's almost like this person that you either are with or you, you know, have broke up with. A ex or someone that was a part of your life this person is like day and night this person could have a split personality this person can be like you know wishy-washy this person can be you know at times this person can be fun loving this person can be very you know, upbeat, happy, and then this person can also have some darkness, you know, some dark energy with them. That means they have a dark side of them. If some of you have started lately talking to someone, this person has a dark side of themselves, okay? That's, that's kind of, that doesn't come out often that I have seen in my readings where you have the sun and you have the moon card here, Okay? So this person could be bipolar. This person could be like emotionally not together. This person can be, yeah, I, I'm picking up on that energy. It's like, it's like day and night. It's like they still battling with some dark secrets. Uh, also with the sun card, this person can be very fun loving, very, you know, could have a happy spirit. And then it's like, all of a sudden, you turn around, this part of person is like, the darkness come out of them. Or this person has a deep, dark secret. But it's like they day and night. It's like you don't know. Thank you, spirit guides. You don't know who you're getting. Okay? If this was someone you, you know, husband, wife, uh, situationship, uh, someone you just met, or someone you trying to figure out. This person could be bipolar. This person is definitely, you know, uh, is not is not balanced. Okay, um, this person definitely you can be you can be dealing with a person that's a Leo, strong Scorpio here, um, that is like wishy washy, like up down, hot cold. Uh, when they high, they high. When they, you know, when they low, it's like it's like you just you just can't you can't you don't know what to expect from this person. Tell me more, spirit for Taurus. I've never had the sun and the moon come out day and night, day and night. This person switches up uh, switches up on you a lot. <laughs> it's what spirit guys is telling me. Tell me more spirit. Yeah. You got the page of page of pentacles here. 
Yeah, this person with this page of pentacles, this is an offer, okay? The page of pentacles is like I feel like this person apologizes too much. They know what they're doing is wrong, but I feel as though that they just apologize too much because the page of pentacles can be about apology as well. Okay? It's like they ex he or she expects you to forgive them forgive them for their actions, how they act, how they treat you. You know, it's like they can be the nicest person or the sweetest person, but then they cuss you out, call you out your name, say things to you. Yeah, you're dealing with someone that is, yeah, and it's been, yeah, it's been a lot of burdens on you, okay? This person, yeah, you, you, you have cared, you've cared a lot of, you've cared this person. You, you have dealt with this situation for a while, Taurus. You have dealt with this. It could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Like I said, it could be a strong Leo. Okay? You have care. It's like, you know, with this Ten of Wands, it's like you've been dealing with this for quite some time. A lot of you from between one to ten years. You've been carrying this. You've been going through this up and down roller coaster with this individual. And they always come. It's like their apologies. It's like. It has just really stressed you out. You've been carrying a lot on your shoulder. You've been, see, even though this is the Ten of Wands, even though it's a heavy burden, you still been trying to push through this. That means that it's like you've been in this so long that you got one foot in, in front of the other. You still, you still pushing, okay? You still, you know, making it through with this person, but it's really weighing on you very heavy. You've been going through this a lot, okay? You've been going through this for a lot of years with this person. Spirit guys, tell me more. This is for Taurus. This is for Taurus. Yeah, you're like trying to, you know, you, you're at a crossroad now. You're definitely at a crossroad. You are at a crossroad, you know, because you're tired of this. You're tired of this weight. You're tired of this burden that has been on you for a lot of years with this person. And all this person does is, you know, try to, you know, always apologize and always trying to offer you more. Like, say, for instance, uh, this person, you know, may have money and they feel like, well, I can apologize and, and give her a little bit of money, let her get some money. You know, kind of, excuse me, manipulate you, you know, to, you know, for you to forgive them and accept the apology. And it's like, it's just, it's just, it just has you at a crossroad right now. You know, you like, you're, you're getting really, really tired of this energy. And you've been going through this person's, this person's, um, Attitude for years. Attitude for years. Taurus, I don't see how you have done that. You've done this. Like I say, everybody's on different timelines. Some of you, this is, you know, you already dealt with this. Some of you going through this right now. Some of you, this is coming up. This decision is coming up in your near future. But I feel like you're at a crossroad now. You're tired of carrying this burden. You're tired of going through all of this with this person. Up and up and down energy, bipolar energy, uh, uh, mentalness, you know, and and they think that offering you stuff and you know thinking that's gonna fix it. They think they can manipulate, offer yourself, apologize all the time, and think that that's it's like it's like it's getting old. It's getting old. I'm picking up old energy. It's like it's getting old. Spirit guys, tell me more about this energy. This person has a dark side from them, of them that they've been battling with. And I feel like you got caught up in the well, you know, years ago when you met this person. Queen of Pentacles. For some of you, you have persevered, persevered through this. 
you went through a lot with this person. Like I say, some of you are out of this now. Some of you can be going towards, you know, your 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 future. This person could have some type of mental mental problem. Okay. Tell me more, spirit. The sun and the moon. Day and night. Okay. And spirit guys is telling me maybe you and this person is like day and night. It's like you, it's like maybe when you met this person 10 years ago, it's like, you know, you, you didn't, you know, you really wasn't the person that you are now that you paid that any attention. But you and this person is like day and night. I don't even see how y'all even hooked up. Okay, you could be a person that's bubbly, outgoing. This person can be from a dark energy. Okay, so it's like day and night. It's like y'all just do not match. It's like y'all have nothing in common. And it's like, it's more like this person can really kill your vibes when you are really in your high energy. This person can come in and just like the moon and just cover you. You know, it's like... Y'all are not the same. Y'all, it's like day and night. Y'all are not the same. And I feel like you're just tired of the apologies. You're just tired of the apologies. And you have persevered, okay? You have your own money. You have, you have your own, you have a lot going for yourself. You have your own money. But this person feels like that they can keep apologizing. And, and you, you're just tired of... You're tired of going through this pressure, this burden, this burden. That's why you're at a crossroad, okay? You're at a crossroad about your happiness. It's like, why are we still doing this? We are day and night, you know? And sometimes, you know, like, when you've been with somebody so long, you know, and you try and you try and you try with this ten of wands, you try and you try and you feel like, you know, and it's like you get to the point like you going from the ten of, ten of Wands to the Two of Swords. Like you about to cut everything off. You tired of you tired of this dead weight on you. You tired of going through this this energy with this person because y'all have nothing in common. Y'all are not even the same. Your personalities are not even the same. Yeah, you had a big decision. You don't even see this person the same with the page of cups in the reverse. You don't see that. Yeah, you have no love for this person. You don't see, you do not see this person the same. Okay? You got two, two here. Des decisions. You don't see this person the same. It's like you, you, you don't even care. That you don't even want them to waste their breath and apologize to you. You tired and apologize. You have heard apologies over the years of dating this person, married to this person, being with this person, and you're tired of it. You it, there's no love there. You don't look at this person the same. You know, and some of you may have already walked away. Like I say, for some of y'all, this is past tense. For some of y'all, you're in this right now, and for some of you, this is a decision that's coming up in, in your near future that you're gonna have to make. You're tired of this weight. Y'all are like day and night. And it's like maybe you met this person when you were when y'all was younger. And as you get older, you become wiser, right? And so as you get older, you realize like, wow, we don't have nothing in common. We are not even compatible. You know, when you're young, you just having fun and you just you just in it. And then as you get older, like 10 years later, 15 years later, and you look and you're like, wow, I've been carrying this burden, this weight, this dead weight. I've been dealing with this person. We are like day and night. We're not the same. Spirit guys, tell me more. This is very interesting, Taurus. I know spirit guys wanted me to do a reading for you. Okay. Yeah, very immature energy. Very. Oh, yeah. I told you somebody walked away. You had to walk away. Some of you walked away from a Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Could be a Sagittarius. Very immature energy. This person mentally. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Queen of Swords in the reverse. Cold block. They broke your heart. This person. 
Yeah, some of you are trying to decide to close this chapter or not. Let me let me let me just slow down for a minute because there's a lot of messages here. So this person could have been younger than you at the time. Okay, they could have been younger than you, very immature. Or you were younger than them. I don't know. This person, it could have been, you know, when you first met, y'all was younger. And it was about the beef jerky or the beaches. And you really didn't, you know, I feel like the sex overclouded your judgment as far as, you know, y'all compatibility. And when you're young, you don't think like that. You just think about having fun and everything. And so you fast forward your life and you see the 10 of wands here that you've been with this person 10 years, 10 plus years, and you realize that y'all are day and night. And you realize this person has some type of some type of a darkness of, with them. This person is like you're tired of going through this unbalanced mentalness. This bipolar, this person, you know, highs and lows and, and everything. And you're tired of this person immature ways. You're just done. You're done. You're tired of this person childishness. And so a lot of you walked away. This is someone that some of you finally cut off. This could be someone in your energy that you haven't talked to in a long time. With the Queen of Swords in the reverse, you walked away from this person uh, maybe some of you a couple years ago, you walked away, you haven't talked to this person, you blocked this person, you're done with this person, you have no love for this person, and you have been trying to figure out why was it that you stayed so long. And and like I said, when y'all met, you could have been, you know, sex overclouded your judgment, but when you, as you got older and wiser, you started realizing, like, we are day and night, and so you walked away from a Cancer Scorpio Pisces, could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, strong Sagittarius or Leo. Okay. And because this person caused you a lot of pain, a lot of pain, a lot, a lot of pain. And some of you are still trying to make a decision to close this chapter. Okay. Some of you are still trying to figure out if you should just close this door or not okay you've been through a lot with this person you went through a lot some of you going through it still some of you went through it okay past tense present tense you went through a lot with this gemini leave aquarius yeah lover lover yeah could have been a gemini yeah Yeah. But you realize that y'all are like day and night. Like you said my, your cups wasn't being fulfilled. You walked away from this person. Spirit guys, tell me more. I feel I feel as though that you were way in advance than this person was or you started outgrowing this person you started realizing the type of energy this person had okay and I'm picking up on bipolar I'm picking up on you know this person hurt your heart talked to you any kind of way could have been a lot of verbal abuse so this person was battling a lot of dark 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 secrets in their life a lot of darkness okay this person definitely was strong Scorpio here. Tell me more, Spirit for Taurus. This ain't going to be for everybody. So take what resonates. Yeah, you could have been married to this person. If you wasn't married, y'all lived up under the same roof. If you wasn't married. 11-11 here. Okay. Yeah, it's all about going towards your happiness, going towards your abundance, conquering this, getting away from this person, releasing this burden that you've been carrying for a lot of years, realizing that y'all have nothing in common, realizing that y'all are like day and night, okay? You a bubbly person, this person is just dark. And when you, some of you walked away and blocked them and, and never looked back. 
Like I said, for some of you, this could have been two years ago, three years ago, that you stopped dealing with this person. Some of you are going through this right now. Trying to decide if you should shut the door. Trying to decide. Okay? You got to know your worth. But why stay with someone and y'all are not even, y'all are not even a, a, a match. Y'all are not, y'all are two, two total different people. Why did y'all stay together? Was it because somebody was codependent on somebody? Or is it because when you met, y'all were young and you just end up growing with this person. You end up, you end up just tolerating a lot of stuff and still, until you woke up one, one day. Yeah, a lot of pain. Look at that 10, 10, 10. A lot of pain, a lot of burden you went through. Yeah, you went through. You, you still, some of you still healing. Some of you still healing from this. A lot of misery is what Spirit Guides is telling me. A lot of misery, Taurus. A lot of misery in this connection you were in. Any more messages for Taurus? A lot of misery here. Yeah. High priestess in the reverse. Yeah, you was with this person um when you were you didn't you didn't know anything about your higher self. You were not your healed self. You were not your healed self. Yeah. Look at that. Eight of Pentacles. You know, you don't want to work on this. I feel like you've been in isolation. I feel like you just, you just, you just lost yourself. You lost yourself with this person. Give me confirmation, spirit. You lost yourself with this person. Mm, yeah. You lost yourself with this person. You're, you're looking, it's like. You're searching for something else. It's like you're thinking about your future now. Tell me more, spirit. Yeah, no success. No success. Yeah. You're thinking about your future. So some of you were dealing with somebody that, yeah, this was a soul. This was some type of connection. You and you was in some type of you connection with somebody that is, you said you, you, you're done. It's over. The death card. It's over. You had to let this person go. You changed. You changed. You changed. That's what it was. You changed. You outgrew this person. You realized that you and this person had nothing in common. Y'all was day and night. Only thing that kept you together probably, possibly was the sex, was the passion. And, you know, as you started getting older and wiser, you realized that, no, you're not going to keep causing me this pain and this burden and this misery. This misery in my life. And now you're going to, yeah. yeah I feel like this person must have had some type of magic on you. Mm-hmm. Judgment. You woke up. You woke up. You became your higher self. And now you're going towards your Ace of Pentacles. You woke up. You had to do some soul searching and started tapping into your higher self. Yep. You're recovering from leaving from leaving this person. From all the misery and the hell. And the pain that you went with this person. You know? Yeah, a lot of lies, a lot of cheating, a lot of manipulation that this person caused you. You were miserable. You were literally miserable. Love her again. This was someone that you really loved. You really loved, but you got you said there's no way that this is what love's supposed to feel like. This was somebody you really loved. Yeah, this was not good for you. You realize this person is not on your destiny. You see that? The will of fortune in the reverse. If some of you are debating, see, very toxic. Could have been a Gemini. I could have been a, I could have been a Capricorn. I intuitively see a Gemini. This person is not supposed to be on this, not supposed to be on this journey with you. 
Yeah, this was not in the plans. Okay. This was definitely toxic. I told you, y'all was cold. This person was codependent on you. They were either verbally abusive, caused you a lot of pain. They could have been physically abusive, a lot of burns, a lot of misery. You were miserable. You were in misery with this person. And then once you start to wake up, and you had to, you know, judgment call was here. You had to do some soul searching, and you became your higher self. You realized that y'all were like day and night. You don't even realize, you woke up and realized, how did I even, how did I even get in the energy to, for this person to even be in your life? Some of you could have, when you met this person years ago, you could have been at a low, vulnerable state in your life. I don't know, but this is someone, because with the Queen of Pentacles here, okay, you have, you have your own money, you always been that type of person, but I don't know what it was that you even even got caught up with this person because y'all were like day and night. So it had to be the love because love came out here twice in the beginning. It had to be the sex, the love, the beat jerky, the beaches, or just you love this person, but the way they treated you, they had a dark, toxic side to themselves. That's, that's, that's what, ever since then, you haven't dealt with this person. And some of you are going through this now. A lot of you are in your pinnacles. You have moved on. When you walked away, you moved on. But, you know, you're not the same person. You ended this. Some of you got to go through this right now. You're trying to make a decision. Okay? You know, and I feel like with this Wheel of Fortune in the reverse, you gonna, you got to get out of this because this is going to keep getting worse and worse. You know, for some of you are trying to decide if you should shut the door or not, uh, you need to think about it. Think about it real quick. Because with the wheel of fortune in the reverse, it's not going to get better. It's going to get worse. I'm positive thoughts and energy, my beautiful souls. I love you guys. We live and we learn. For some of you, you went through this already. For some of you, you're going through this right now. You wonder, how did I even get involved with this person? And for some of you, this is coming up in your near future, that there is a decision to be made. But you are grown you make your own choices. I'm just the messenger. I love you guys. Until next time.